I'm told by State Police PIO Lieutenant Vance that down this street, number 39, is actually the shooter's mother's home and that she was found dead inside that home earlier today. This investigation obviously continues. A lot of unanswered questions. Since this morning, we have learned from police that 20 children have been killed, that six adults were killed, including the principal of the school, and also that the alleged shooter was found dead inside that school. Now, take a look at this video from earlier today. Anonymous officials say the suspect is 20-year-old Adam Lanza, the son of a teacher at Sandy Hook Elementary School where the deadly shooting spree happened. Authorities say they confused the shooter's identity with his brother, 24-year-old Ryan Lanza. Earlier today, Ryan is in custody for questioning now. And state police say all of their troopers, all of them were called to duty to assist the families, at least one trooper per family for these victims to try and help them cope with all of this. Authorities say this incident is simply horrifying. About seven o'clock, there was standing room only, as you can see at this point, it has cleared out. But the people we spoke with earlier say this event helped them cope with what they describe as hell on earth. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It, it's so horrendous. You can't wrap your mind around it. A community in anguish after police confirmed a mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Today, the innocence was taken away and we are heartbroken. Just thinking of the little children, I mean, 20. I mean, I, I, it's, I can't even imagine. Police say 20 children were fatally shot. As the day went along, it just got worse and worse and worse. So, I mean, there's, there's no words that can express how we feel. I mean, we're all in shock. They say at least six adults, including the principal, were also killed. Police say the shooter was found dead at the school. It's just so devastating. And it's hard to believe because you always think this could never happen in a town like ours. Our prayers are with them all. This is the second deadliest mass shooting in the United States history. We will continue to follow this story for you. In Newtown, Sarah Hagan, News 12 Connecticut. And her family contacted News 12 Connecticut asking us to share her story, tell her story. And I am told that Victoria Lee Soto was a graduate from Stratford High School, which you see right here behind me. Now take a look at this photo. This was a recent staff school picture taken just last week at Sandy Hook. Her family says she had her students huddled behind her trying to protect them when she was shot and killed. They say she is a hero and did everything she could. Her cousin James Wiltsey, a Fairfield police officer, says one of the hardest parts yesterday was waiting to hear if she was dead or alive. And at that point, it was the hardest um, for the whole family, just a waiting game uh, to receive word on what happened to uh, Vicky's class. And I'm told by family members that there will be a vigil held in her memory right here at the high school at 7 p.m. tonight. We'll keep you updated on this developing story with continuing coverage. In Stratford, Sarah Hagan, News 12 Connecticut. Christine, you talk about that list, and here it is, Victoria Soto. Her name is on here, and her family says one of the hardest things about yesterday was waiting to hear if Soto and her students were dead or alive the hardest um, for the whole family, just a waiting game. Family members say this is 27 year old Victoria Soto's most recent school staff picture taken just last week. Achieving her life dream of being a teacher and that's exactly what she did and unfortunately that's what took her from us. The victim's cousin, also a Fairfield police officer, James Wiltsey, says Soto was a Stratford High School graduate. You see her here with her three siblings. Anger, upset, you know, as a police officer, we train for these type of things, but it's always in the back of your mind. It could never happen to me. He said Soto did everything she could to protect her first graders from the gunmen. Had them huddled in a closet in her classroom, uh, trying to keep them away from the spray of bullets. Police say this man, 20 year old Adam Lanza, fired those shots. Why? Really, it, words. There are no words to uh, express, you know, the, the amount of emotion that everyone is feeling. Her family calls Soto a hero. And the fear, instead of running the other way, run into danger to protect the little ones. It brings peace and uh, gives a sense of pride to the family to know that she was protecting the students.
As we've reported, there is a vigil being held over at Stratford High School. We will continue to follow this developing story for you. In Newtown, Sarah Hagen, News 12 Connecticut. Fire officials say these trees were put up on Sunday and you can see how that memorial has grown. Officials say thousands of people have turned out to visit. Officials say the trees represent the 20 elementary school children who were shot and killed by 20 year old Adam Lanza in Friday's mass shooting. You can see each tree has a child's name. Those in charge here and onlookers agree the memorial is helping the community start to try and heal. My heart just hurts. It just hurts like everybody. It's something that you just can't even imagine. It's quiet. It's it, I, it, I feel it's comforting. You know, it's peaceful. I get caught up in the moment. And you'll also notice large trucks such as this coming through this area. Officials say that's because they continue to seize evidence from the school. The investigation is still ongoing. In Newtown, Sarah Hagen, News 12 Connecticut. A Newtown postmaster says at least one worker from here was on duty, witnessed some of those kids running for their lives, also witnessed first responders getting to the scene. Now, this is not something that these folks are trained to deal with, but officials say dealing with the amount of mail that's come in, these condolences, these support letters and packages, well, that's something that they can handle. I can assure these families, everyone in the world, has been touched by this and is sharing their grief. I don't think there is anything more special and more connecting than a piece of mail. A United States Postal Service spokesperson says after the mass school shooting Friday, the phone hasn't stopped ringing and the mail hasn't stopped coming. People who are touched by this around the world really want to provide support and love to the families that have been impacted and to the townspeople who have been impacted. Officials say because of that, they designated a specific P.O. box for all the condolences. We anticipate that we will receive thousands more, so folks can certainly send you know their messages and we're getting them from everywhere around the world. Here in Newtown, people and postal officials say in time, they hope it helps heal. I think it's a good thing overall that people want to support, but I think that it might be too soon. I think that support is great, but it's just these people need to heal. They can deal with this mail at their own pace when they feel comfortable to receive that support. Officials say you can send generic or specific condolences to do that. You can send them to the address here, P.O. Box 3700, Newtown, Connecticut, 06470. In Newtown, Sarah Hagen, News 12 Connecticut.